Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. I think as you could probably tell from the title this video will be all about who I am and my little corner in the room that I really like or the nook as I call it. So it will precisely be me talking to you for the next 10 minutes or so as I make a small watercolor illustration of the nook. I hope you enjoy it. In my last video, I think I got pretty dramatic about the makeshift condition of my little corner in the house. The good news is that is no more the situation now. <laughs> I have fixed up the space and I have finally settled in. My work desk is set up. My art supplies are stacked almost neatly in the bookshelf. I have found myself a mattress to drop dead on at the end of the day and I have even got some pictures on the wall with uh, frames. I bought uh, picture frames for the first time <laughs> and they make the posters look so much more adult, I should tell you. <laughs> so I have got fairy lights, I've got curtains, everything. <laughs> but most of all what I am really proud of uh, and it's a little bit of achievement on my part that uh, I managed to color code everything to um, almost my satisfaction in a pastel turquoise shade. So I'm quite happy at the moment with the setup and I thought I should share this moment in the form of an illustration of this nook of mine. That having said, I realized I have never really introduced myself to you guys. I was thinking about it and I thought, well, I have never really told you who I am and what I do for living here in the US. So uh, I just uh, went straight to doing things which might have thrown some of you off guard and made you feel a little disinterested. But I'm sorry about that. So let's start over. Hey everyone. My name is Oindrila Ghosh. I am 28 years old and I belong to the eastern state of West Bengal in the Indian subcontinent. I am from the city of Durgapur which is about, about 170 kilometers from the city of Kolkata which is the capital city of Kolkata. So Kolkata is a recent name of, this, of what was known as Calcutta. And uh, Calcutta was the name that uh, the city got from the British when India was a British colony. Currently, I stay in Maryland, USA, and I'm pursuing my doctorate studies here in environmental engineering. So I pursue art as a passion or a hobby at the moment. I have always wanted to do it full time but I guess I never really got the time or ended up enjoying academia almost as much as art. My passion for art developed mostly by looking at my father who would often sit down with a paper and a pencil and sketch something or someone from life. My grandfather I have heard was a professional artist based in Calcutta. I never saw him myself. Uh, we lost him before I was born, but I saw my father. I saw my father and he once sketched my newborn baby cousin brother from life. And I remember I sat down beside him the whole time while he worked looking at his face. And I saw his patience with every line that he drew and how much he enjoyed the process. Um, yeah. <laughs> I would never miss the chance of watching my father put covers on my new textbooks every time I was promoted to a new class. His work was a piece of art, uh, believe me, he would measure the length of the paper needed for a book and he would cut off the piece from the roll with one neat stroke of the pen knife and then he wouldn't touch the scissors or the knife. He even minimized the number of scraps of paper by neatly folding the extra parts inside in a way that Nothing was to be seen from outside. And I should tell you, my textbooks would be probably the most neatly covered ones in the entire class with marked labels and everything on top. And yes, uh, even I took care of them. 
not one would have a mark on them until the end of the year and i was i was watching and learning from my father but he would always help me with the covers uh, whenever he could but with time i i had to assign him with more difficult things to do the for example the diagrams for my biology class he would have to stay up midnights poor thing to <laughs> to finish them and he would even keep them ready with neatly drawn arrows for me to finish and finish the labeling in in my handwriting in the morning so i would get up from bed and finish the labeling and then go to school i was i was always an indoor kid myself who would never go out to play introverted and shy i was i, I always enjoyed staying home and closed in a room full of blank papers around me i guess my father he he would even he would he would rarely buy me ready made cards for someone's birthday or christmas he would buy me a bunch of blank cards and ask me to fill them up and i did i i, I really enjoyed it so much even and when i came of age i was i was actually put under a tutor who taught me some te- techniques in painting with watercolors and ways to enhance my the art of card making but soon my parents found me humming some tunes at the back of my father's motorcycle we had a motorcycle back then and i would uh, usually sit sandwiched between my father in the driver's seat and my mother at the back and wherever we used to go i would sing under my breath these songs that i would hear on the television and picked up quite quickly my parents thought i had a really nice voice <laughs> I think my parents pampered me too much. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and I was uh, put under another tutor for music and soon another for tabla because you know you had to I had to be on my tempo while singing so the tabla person he would come and practice with me. I would sing the songs and he would play by my, by my side. So gradually I had no more time for painting. and soon i had no more time to invest in my hobbies at all uh, so in a middle class indian family this is a very common scenario where close to the 10th standard kids are advised to focus more on academics than any other passion they might have i think i started painting again when i came here to the usa in 2017 for my phd Yes, I started saving some money for my from my monthly student uh, stipend to invest in supplies and with time I have been able to set up this mini studio worth of supplies and make some progress on the quality and quantity of my work. I I think I find myself motivated to create every time I feel saturated with my research. and my personal life and i really find solace when when i channelize my negative energy into creating something i think i think by now i have established the fact that uh, i am an introverted environmental researcher who keeps art by her side to keep herself sane I am I'm mostly self-taught and nowhere close to a professional and most days after work I'm just plain tired to do anything let alone sitting down to paint but then again there are days when I'm when I'm so motivated that it is hard to stop me uh, like the last the last couple of weeks I think I I have been spending so much time on this uh like painting or editing these videos or singing something that i haven't really worked as much and i and i and i do feel guilty about that but then again i know when i when i will start working i won't have the time to do anything any of this so it's okay i guess and plus it's the holidays maybe i'm in the holiday mood right now <laughs> So like everyone else I have my days and then and then I don't I hit blocks just like every other painter out there if not more So I'm mostly a mixed media kind of person and I use acrylic paints watercolors color pencils and pastels
for my work but i do some art journaling from time to time when i feel like and i like using different kinds of paper and stamps for the process when i get too creative i make some home crafts like with cardboard and paper mache or wall putty And I think this channel was created more for me than anyone else to keep me motivated. But this is the platform where I'm welcoming every one of you out out there to provide me any word of motivation that you might have and positive criticism that you might have to offer me. Until next time, this is me Oindrila signing off. See you next time. Thank you.